Hello, in this video, I'm gonna go over things that I like about working in cybersecurity and some things that I don't like about working in cybersecurity. And hopefully by the end of the video, you'll have a better representation of what it's like to work in the cybersecurity field. The field of cybersecurity has been extremely glamorized and every time someone thinks about cybersecurity, they think about hacking into something or doing really cool stuff. While sometimes that's the case, the majority of the time it's not. Do check out my video on day in the life of what it's like to work in cybersecurity right here. If you are new to my channel, my channel is all about helping you upskill and land a job in it. Heck, make sure to smash that like button right now. And to thank you, here is a picture of a baby. I'm gonna start with the cons of working in cybersecurity. And the first one is imposter syndrome. And I really didn't know what this was until a couple of months ago, but basically imposter syndrome is where everything you do is where you feel like a fraud in your field. And no matter what external evidence you have to prove otherwise, you still feel like you're an imposter and that you don't belong. And this is something that everybody deals with in tech because there's so much information. There's no way one person can actually just know everything. I was talking to my friend who has 16 years of experience as a software developer and he still feels like an imposter so it doesn't go away and I can only imagine how it is if you're just starting out and there are five different ways that imposter syndrome kind of manifests and I have been guilty of every one of these the first one being the perfectionist if they view anything as a minor flaw it's like catastrophe and everything is just breaking down I've been that person <laughs> the second one is the expert where you feel ashamed of what you don't know and see in the technical field there's always going to be things that you don't know the next way that imposter syndrome manifests in cybersecurity is the soloist and basically that means that they don't ask for help and they think that they can do everything on their own i have been guilty of that the next is the natural genius and they measure their success on how easily they can get something and achieve something and that is definitely identified the most with that one and then the next one is the super person where they can it appears that they can juggle all of these different things with ease and complete calmness i mention all of these because if you're facing that whether you've been in the field one year no year 10 years everyone faces kind of imposter syndrome and i wish i had known about that sooner the next con that i don't like about working in the cybersecurity field is the crazy job requirements recently a recruiter called me and he asked me if i had any experience with radware and i was like no but i do know this technology and I've worked with it on different platforms, but he really wanted someone with Radware. And he was like, well, if you don't have Radware experience, this is not a good fit for you. And then he like hung up and I'm like, what? And that was just kind of like a, a blow to my self-confidence. I was like, how can I get disqualified from a job? Because I don't have experience with this obscure piece of technology that no one has ever heard of, but I, I'm aware of like the basics and I know that I can learn it pretty quickly. So some hiring managers really just focus on the technology and not the concepts that you need to succeed at that position. So the amount of information you need is ridiculous and no matter how much experience, no matter how many things you learn or certificates you get or degrees you have, there's always something you're not going to know and then people will use that against you either to negotiate lower pay or just say that you're not qualified for the job. And if you're new to the field and look at those job requirements, it's super intimidating. Even if you get more experience, it doesn't change that much. Another con to cybersecurity is that sometimes the hours are relatively crazy and a lot of positions are actually overnight. If you want to work at graveyard shift, it might be a really good job field for you to go into. And that doesn't mean all jobs in cybersecurity are gonna have strange hours. It just means a lot of them do. You can vet which ones will and which ones won't. The next con to cybersecurity, I think it's just me, but is that you have to be passionate in order to succeed at the field or you need to be super passionate. I'm not really passionate about anything. I just see it as a skill that I execute and I can learn and grow at. So I'm passionate about learning new things. And so that can transfer to basically any field that 
I want to, and I can become passionate. But to say that you have to already have the passion before starting, it may deter a lot of people from the cybersecurity field because to develop that intense enthusiasm, which is what passion is, I think it takes just like a lot of time and dedication to it and more of a discipline then it is kind of a feeling, I guess if that makes sense. I, I never was a believer in follow your passion because it never really made a lot of sense to me. Maybe that's just me. What do you think about that below in the comments? If you have intense feelings of enthusiasm about things, maybe passionate is the way to go. Also, Speaking of passion, I am passionate about you smashing that like button below. Another con that I see in cybersecurity is that it can be pretty stressful. So because you're dealing with a lot of sensitive information and what you do does have a huge impact on the organization, then it's honestly extremely sometimes high stress. And this varies, of course, position to position. Some cybersecurity entry level jobs will be less stressful and maybe as more you you advance and get more responsibility, they'll become more stressful if you, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Which goes into my next con to working in cybersecurity is burnout. And I had never really experienced burnout until the last two years. And it's, it's a, I basically experienced a technical burnout and I literally couldn't really function technically because you have to learn so much. And if you don't take breaks or do anything else except for this, it, it kind of comes faster. I see a lot of people saying, you have to go home and then you also have to study cybersecurity and your whole life to be dedicated to cybersecurity. I think they forget like burnout is a thing and it actually like stops your progress and maybe makes you kind of dislike the field. If you if you feel guilty for not going home and then studying cybersecurity after your job, I really wouldn't feel bad about it because I actually think it would be better if you had other hobbies that didn't exercise that technical part of your brain because it does get burnt out. It's just like any other muscle. If you overuse it, you're just at complete exhaustion and it can take a while to recover from that. So burnout is a real thing. The next con to working in cybersecurity, basically like any job, is it can be boring. So I think when people think of cybersecurity, they think really cool, really fun, really like cutting edge stuff. But honestly, a lot of jobs in cybersecurity are boring and that isn't a bad thing. That should be seen as like kind of a good thing. Do you always want Want to have that adrenaline rush about like hunting down the next criminal hacker or something like that. I personally wouldn't. So there are plenty of boring jobs in cybersecurity. That could be a pro or a con, honestly. Some of the things that I think are amazing about cybersecurity and working in the tech field is number one, the culture. It's a pretty progressive culture and a lot of people are pretty laid back and there's not really high competition among peers. It's more of a collaborative environment. And to me, that matters a lot because I am not a competitive person at all. In the tech field, certificates, degrees, and all of that fun sort aren't seen as authoritative. That means like nobody really cares that you have them. It's more for the HR or human resources or the company's checklist on why those matters. The only thing that really matters in tech is can you solve the problems at hand? If you can, fantastic. And if you can't, no matter what degree or credential you have, it, it, people don't really care, which I find is a great thing because it's just about solving problems. Also, there's not as many political games within like the tech industry as there are other industries because honestly, if you want to get promoted or you want to make more money, you can just switch companies and it, it doesn't really matter that much. I know in other fields, it's like a huge thing and everyone's competing over like this one promotion. You could just learn like a new skill and then hop into a different job and make like $40,000 more. I, I also really enjoy that part. The next reason that I really like the cybersecurity field is that it's really flexible, meaning that a lot of jobs like kind of like track if you come in five minutes late or if you don't, well, I've never worked at a job in tech where they do that because if they start Started doing that their tech workers would most likely leave and it's also flexible in terms of hours a lot of the time especially if you work a remote job because it's not like a mission critical someone is going to die type of issue then you can usually leave this definitely depends on where you are of course but what I find and what other people find super flexible and a lot of jobs have like 
uh, a ton of leave that you can take, especially if you're working for startups and whatnot. The next reason that I really like the cybersecurity field is that there are tons of opportunities in every company, every state, every country. And this is fantastic if you enjoy moving around or if you want to move somewhere else. I know there are some fields that are only local to certain states or certain areas. Well, in cybersecurity and tech, there are an insane amount of jobs everywhere. And that includes remote jobs. I know that a lot of people are like, can you get an entry level cybersecurity job? And the answer is they definitely do exist. You may have to do like a year or two at the office maybe, and then switch to the remote, but that doesn't to discourage you to try to land that remote job. It definitely can be done. The next reason why I really like the cybersecurity field is that there's such low competition. I'm not a competitive person, um, and I don't like to fight over kind of like the bottom, I guess, if that makes sense to you. Some people like, there's like 200 applicants for one job. Uh, and that's because that field is either shrinking or there's just not that much opportunity. Well, in cybersecurity, there is tons of opportunity. The next reason I really like the cybersecurity field is it's continuously learning. There is a point where you can become burned out because you're just always learning, but I personally just love learning new things. And whether that's about cybersecurity, economics, business, marketing, sales, oil painting, I just enjoy learning. So I'm in cybersecurity just happens to be on my list of things that I like learning about. I don't think you have to have a passion to succeed in this field. I do think you do have to have a growth mindset in which you're always learning and that you can overcome any obstacle that comes your way and that your intelligence isn't fixed. The next pro that I really enjoy is that it is make a lot of money pretty early on in your career like 80, 90, 100K, uh, depending of course where you are. And a lot of people go their entire careers never making it past 50K because they're in a field that doesn't have that much opportunity or isn't that difficult to replace. So, And so a job can maybe not be any harder than another job, but if there are less people with skills in that, they can demand higher pay because they're harder to find. However, when that skills gap closes, pay usually tends to also decrease. So right now, the highest paying fields in like IT is cybersecurity and cloud. And I would say maybe cloud is a little bit higher. I would look at those two fields and see if you can find a job that you like within those two fields. That is my conclusion to things I like about cybersecurity and things I don't like about cybersecurity. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Actually, here's a baby sloth again. And look at my playlist, how to land a job in cybersecurity if you're more curious about this field. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.